Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a different one. It's going to be a review of my uh, Viennois wallet in monogram canvas, which is also known as the, um, what's it called? The French wallet outside of Europe. So, when I was researching to buy this piece, that was the biggest confusion for me. This piece, as you can see, is called Vinoise in Europe. So I was looking on YouTube for a review and of the Vinoise wallet and it's, I've only seen three or five hits for this wallet, like videos that I could actually look at. And then after purchasing this wallet, I went once onto the U uh, US website and I found out this wallet is called the French purse, French wallet. So this is the biggest confusion there was for me and yeah, when I gave that one into YouTube, French wallet Louis Vuitton, I only got like eight or seven hits so I thought I decided to make a video of this wallet, a review and this is what I'm I'm really, really wanting to do with my channel right now. I want to give good quality reviews for you guys so you guys can make a more informative purchase because this was one of the biggest things I've been searching for wallets. Like I was searching for the Emily wallet. Now if you put in Emily wallet on YouTube you get like a billion hits because everyone loves the Emily wallet because of the price and the quality of this wallet and the functionality of this wallet but if you search in for the epi style wallet epi from emily and louis vuitton um you get maybe three hits so this is my whoops i'm gonna just gonna turn that off this is the biggest uh, thing i want to do is like from every piece that i have i want to give a good quality review so you guys can make a better informative decision on which to buy so, sorry for that intro, I'm feeling a little chatty today and if you didn't see my last video, I did say I was going to pre-film some videos so this is why I'm still in the same background, drinking the same drink and wearing the same scarf. Ah, oh, breakfast tea. So, and it's not even morning anymore, it's... 20 minutes to 5 so that means my boyfriend's coming home soon and I have to wrap it up because A. he doesn't know I'm filming B. or second he doesn't know I have a new camera <laughs> because I'm supposed to be saving for two obvious reasons first thing is I'm going to Hong Kong second thing is uh, we're going from wait first thing is we're going to Hong Kong and we're going for a month so that takes a lot of money and second thing, for to fund my addiction of Louis Vuitton. I mean, there's no cure for that, and I'm happy that there's no cure for that. But he doesn't understand, like most men, partners, they don't understand. But maybe he will understand someday. Who knows? So, this is the wallet. Beautiful wallet. I'm just going to show you. This is the, like I said, the Vinoise or the French purse. And this is 13 times 9 times 1 centimeters. I mean, 1 centimeters when it's uh, not fully stuffed, like you can see. And in inches, that would be 5.5, no, 5.1 inches. The height is 3.5 inches, and the depth would be 0 0.4 inches but once again those those uh, measurements are when it's not fully stuffed so that is one so we have here the full you have one piece of full canvas the beautiful snap closure with Louis Vuitton engraved on it and we have this one compartment. This is the newer model. I am sure that the older model didn't have this side. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight card slots, two um, compartments behind this card slot, and behind this card slot you cannot put anything in, which is kind of a bummer, which it did. And then you have one, one, um, 
full size, like this whole side you can put in your cash. I only have 10 Swiss francs, which is kind of nothing. Be right back. I just need to get something. Okay, we are back. So as I said, I want to make a more informative review. So I'm going to show you what fits, what kind of bill fits. Now this is a hundred Hong Kong dollars. And let's see if it fits. Fits perfectly in the back with maybe one centimeter to spare, as you can see. Right here, this bit, like one centimeter space will still have space in there. So let's grab out some. Ooh, I have dollars. Now, I keep um, my currencies in this bag it's not all fooled I took fully stuff but I'm not sure if I said this before my dream was to be actually become a stewardess so that's why I did this I have like all the most used currencies so this is a one US dollar and this is actually for my boyfriend's currency collection so let's try to put this in Okay, it fits right inside. You might have like a half a centimeter space in the back, like so. As you can see, oh, yeah. It's slightly bigger than, the US is slightly bigger than the Hong Kong. Like there, just very so slightly. What else do we have? No, no euros, just coins. Aha, uh -huh. we have Scottish pound. Uh, uh, I'm not sure, it's Scottish five pounds sterling. So we have five pounds and ten pounds. That will definitely fit inside. Like that. That will fit perfectly inside. Let's just put our money away. Anything else? No, no, just a lot of coins. Let me just pop this back. US dollar. Okay, there we go. Like we said, I showed you what you can fit in the back. Now, the number code is in this back um, banknotes holder. Just need to see which side. Okay. When you open the purse, the um, day code will be on this side, so the back side of the wallet. Like so, I'm not sure you guys can see this, but it will be on this side. And yes, we have this beautiful, beautiful accordion style wallet, which I really love. This is just perfect for um, if your currency, like currency, has a lot of coins because it's very much easier to dig in this. Now, I do have a new French round coin purse and I love this piece more because you can like squeeze it open. Let me just show you. Like so. You can open this up and like squeeze it. Now this is also very handy, but if you don't want to carry two pieces, I really do love this wallet. Now, I keep extra cards in this wallet, like most used cards, and I do keep coins in it. And it's just much easier to search for when you're paying at the cash register. Let me take all those cards out. I'm just going to pop in some more. This just makes finding coins much easier. Like so. Now, this is really beautiful piece, and I love this piece. I'm really happy to own it, because I did buy this secondhand, pre-loved and pre-birthday. If you didn't see that haul, it's one of the first videos I've ever made, and this was a piece that I bought. Now, if you guys can see, they have on this um, clip, it's embossed, engraved with Louis Vuitton on both sides. On the opposing sides of course and this is really beautiful now if you're looking into this buying this piece the only downside I would say is 
the card space. I'm a person who loves carrying cards. I sign up for every membership if it gets me a discount or a reward. So that's the only downside. So I only keep the necessities what I need. And I keep the rest in my Ampriant clay, which is also handy. Now, if you guys can see this, this wallet has an indent on it. Let me tell you why. Because if you don't always close this wallet up like so, and leave it open like this, and you put it back in your purse, where you carry it around like this, you will automatically press the closure into the letter. And that's why I have an indent. And now, I've been looking on eBay for wallets like these, and usually they all have it. Now, that is the reason why it might be indented. The Louis Vuitton um, heat stamp is right here on the front side of the wallet. And that is it. Now, maybe the second part that might annoy people is that this snap closure is like the um, agenda. It doesn't snap... It doesn't snap the whole wallet, it only snaps one place, you know? It only holds at one spot and it might like wiggle a little bit. So when you're holding this wallet, it might sometimes feel like this. But that doesn't bother me. And this wallet was bought in 2014. Yeah, she bought it in 2014 and she did give me the receipt, the ribbon and everything. And she only wore this for three months, so I was like, that's fine with me. But after I got it, the, the edges started to wear. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Right there, this is the edge that's starting to wear. Mm -hmm. But that is fine. I can get it reglazed at a later point, but this wallet has been life for me. I love it. It's small. I can hold it like this just to go grab coffee or something. And this has been life for me. And I really do recommend this and I would repurchase this again. I said it before and I say it again. I would repurchase this even in a... What's it called? What's it called? Ha! Ah, the Verni. Now, I've seen the Verni in this piece already before. Now, the Verni is more stiff of a leather. This is coated canvas, and I've seen the Verni. It's been a little more, not like a, not like this piece. This is more flexible piece, which I love. But I would even repurchase this in a Verni because I love the structure of it. I just wish it had more space. I mean. If it would be um, five and five, I would love it even more. But I love the way it is now, and I can't wait to switch out to my new wallet, which is coming this week, in the next two, three days. I've seen it, I've been tracking it, I've been... I mean, when you guys see this video, I will already have it, and I'm probably already gonna be loving it. But I can't wait, because I've been dying to get a new wallet. I have been... I, another wallet which I'm going to buy eventually maybe a smaller wallet than this and this is a pretty small wallet for me yeah and I'm going to buy an even smaller wallet because I want one to take to Hong Kong with me and yeah that was my review of the French purse the Vinoise wallet and yeah I can only say I really I only can say good things about this and I'm not sure if anyone's going to be interested in buying this wallet after my review. Just know that I'm helping maybe someone in making an informative decision. I love this piece. I really do. Hands down, one of the great pieces of Louis Vuitton. One of the great pieces of Louis Vuitton wallets. Now, I can't wait to switch this out because I have been wearing this since November, so November, December, Fe January, February, March, so maybe five months straight. I love this wallet. Really great wallet. And I can't wait to do a comparison wallet with the wallet that's coming. I'm so happy. I cannot, I cannot express in words how happy I am. 
but this is going to be great. So I hope you guys having a nice day. Yeah, what else can I say? I'll see you next time. Bye guys.